All right, so we just got a data download for the brand new units, the Fusion Zamasu and the Blue Goku and Vegeta. We have the new brand units here. I did cover them in a video a little earlier. So if you haven't checked it out, feel free to go ahead and watch. But if we take a look at it right here, we see they do release in about three hours from the time I'm recording this. So within three hours, by the time this video goes up, which I will upload as soon as I possibly can, we will be seeing the brand new units, which is really, really sick. The banners are going to be in game. We have what the banners are going to look like. We have new summon animations. There's so much, you know, with the sinking of the games. We don't know when that's going to happen exactly, but we know the games are going to sink. This is by far the best celebration in Dokkan battle history. Just, just no, there's no way that it's not the best celebration. This is just absolutely insane. We have so many things to talk about here, but yes, same time on Global 1 JP. So let's go ahead and just skip down here. We'll talk about the things here. So we have the new blue Goku and blue Vegeta with their Dokkan event. I mean, this unit and then Fusion Zamasu, we talked about their kit, but these guys are definitely the best units in the game. I think by far, um, maybe not by far, but these guys look to be insane. I mean, this guy's high chance of dodge, um, guard, very high defense, stacking defense. And when you get Vegito Blue, he's doing like so many super attacks, 50% damage reduction, super effective. It's just this guy's crazy. This guy's probably full dodge. <laughs> he has still high chance to dodge. Uh, Vegito Blue is absolutely insane. Fusion Zamasu is really good. I clicked the wrong art. But LR Fusion Zamasu has a ton of reduction. He works kind of like Golden Frieza. He's basically just a better LR Golden Frieza. In my personal opinion, he's going to be hitting way harder. In Excuse me. Infinite Zamasu gives all ally, extreme class allies extra key. Um, he makes super class enemies take um the, from what it, from what the doka now said it makes super class enemies and allies take extra damage um which you know it doesn't really matter that allies take extra damage it doesn't really say it here but that, that's the skill it makes enemies and allies of super class units they do take um extra damage right you could actually link infinite zamasu with this guy and then they share seven links <laughs> all seven links which is really great um it's pretty insane the zamasu but when we become infinite zamasu he nullifies all attacks aimed at him he's basically invincible he's supporting worldwide chaos category units um infinite zamasu himself is very powerful he has double keys for changing he lasts for five turns for this guy but this dude is actually invincible and he's able to do some pretty nice damage himself from based on what we're seeing 300 percent attack for key double orb changing support uh, yeah zamasu is just as good as vegeto they're in the same tier one and two for sure i don't know which one's better um <clears throat> it's something i have to test them for and see how good they're gonna be but this is just really good from what we're seeing so far man i do like what i'm seeing quite a bit for sure i think that if i had to say Zamasu seems to be better, but we'll have to really wait and see. Yeah, we really have to wait and see there on how good these guys are going to be, but um, they look very powerful from what I'm seeing here. We we'll have a new Mai and a new physical Zamasu again, just to kind of break them down a little. Mai is a support unit for super class. Zamasu is extreme class support unit. Zamasu kind of sucks. He wants super class enemies and that's non-existent. That this is not a thing uh, that are difficult. Mai is interesting. She gets damage reduction when she super attacks a lot of times, right? She gives support. She's fine. Oh, the issue is that these guys don't give key on their support. Uh, well, Zamasu does when he dodges an attack, which you can get a good amount of dodge, but that's with the super class enemy. Mai needs to find her 50% HP. And I don't like that. Mai's uh, key support, not really great because you have to be under 50% HP to get that. So that's, that's the one thing that sucks there, but... <clears throat> Um, besides that, uh, I think the main two units are very, very, very good, right? Which is a good thing. Now, we actually do know the banners of the main units. We'll talk about the summon animations in a bit. So, the blue Goku and Vegeta banner, right? The token awakening to Vegeta Blue. Again, SDR Cooler, 23rd World Tournament Goku, LR Ultimate Gohan. We could probably expect, um, I mean, who else could we expect on here? I'm trying to think of another unit. But no, these are very hard hitters for sure. Um, yeah, this is a cracked banner. 
Zamasu's banner is probably even better though. Ma Jr. and Orange Piccolo on the banner, and then Fusion Zamasu himself. This banner is also very, 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 very insane. Um, yeah, man, th these banners are just good. Like, really, really powerful banners. You're going to want to summon here for sure on these banners from what I'm seeing. But we'll see. When they're in-game, I'll probably make a video talking about if you should summon or not. I mean, probably duh, but we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Um, what else is here? New car transform labels. This is for the new... Um, Samasu card, right? The domain. It's called domain in, in Dokkan, right? Domain expansion. <laughs> Dokkan events here. <clears throat> yeah, here's the banners. Um, these banners look really stupid. Really, really good banners. And yeah, we have new summon animations. For the first time in a very long time, we have summon animations. Um, like these, these are all brand new. Brand new summon animations, right? We could take a look here. But it's like we have like new Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Blue Goku's here. We see Vegito's there. Um, we see them fusing new animations. Super Saiyan 2 Goku's new. We have Sword of Hope Trunks and my screen cracks. I assume a lot of these animations are just going to stay. Um, but we'll see. And then we have Vegito. We have base Vegito and Vegito Blue. Again, some of these might not be for just this. Some of these might be just for the celebration. We'll have to wait and see. I'm thinking like the new arts here, they're, they're going to stay. But, um, <clears throat> you know, Super Attack Animation revamps are so sick. We could take a look at all of them right here. So here's all the Super Attack animations. Um, so I guess this is going to be the fusion right here. We see Vegito, base form Vegito. OK, so I guess you could get base form Vegito or Vegito Blue. I don't know the difference. This maybe is like Dokkan Festival or something. Oh, he powers up right there. That's interesting. Okay. I guess we'll have to see how that's going to work. There's Super Saiyan 1 Goku. Okay. And then the next one, I assume, will be Super Saiyan 1 into Super Saiyan 2. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. So I guess they, they, we never are going to see that Blue Calc and Goku animation, huh? The very old one. So we get up to Super Saiyan 3 Goku here again. This is just from the Future Saga. Where are those arts from, by the way? I guess these are just brand new arts, right? I've never seen these arts before. Okay. And then Super Saiyan 3, then we go Super Saiyan Blue. This is probably just the God animation equivalent, huh? That makes a lot of sense. Okay. Um, this is just Long Kamehameha. Okay, I don't know if there's anything new here. No. Super Saiyan 1, Long Kamehameha. Super Saiyan 2, um, Kikera Long Kamehameha. And then, what is this? This is just a, a very large one. Okay. What is this? <clears throat> oh, Screen Crack into the Namek Goku. And then double screen crack into bye guys? No, these are all screen cracks. Okay. And then that's that. Sort of hope trunks. Then we have uh oolong. Then we have the uh PGP Gal, okay. Trunks and my leaving for the future. And then there's this the screen cracks. Um there's one extra thing here. I saw uh, I don't know where it's at. I saw an animation where it's like there's the um yeah, and in, in the Doka now, there's the uh okay, here's yeah, here's the trunks time machine where he goes back into the future and then it works like a Whis animation. This is basically Whis animation. Whis is not on here. From what I'm seeing here, there's no Whis animation. There's blue Vegito, but it's really exciting. We're finally after years getting a new summon animation, dude. That's really sick there. Um, and besides that, we know what the new missions for the Dokkan event medals are. Can I go to the global Dokkan and we could see exactly what these missions are? So what do we have to do to get these missions? Let's take a look here. Um, uh, upcoming. Where are they? Is it this one? Yeah. Okay. So let's take a look here. So clear stage three. Okay. So I don't actually need these. I think, right? That's good. Clear stage four, super two under special conditions, three realm of gods units, uh, super two with AGL tech, int, and STR and physical, no support items within five turns. Okay. Then worldwide chaos, uh, super two, final trump card. Okay, no, this is the first two, right? Okay, so final trump card, all these characters here <clears throat> with a rainbow team, and then no items. Okay. All right, I might just do videos on these just because they're metals and they're just brand new. Um, but as long as you get that, 
do you get all the medals for these? I don't think so. I, I guess you only get a couple of the medals. So you still have to do the Dokkan event, but you get uh, some extra medals. So you don't get all the medals, right? This is one, two, three, four. That's 28 of the medals. Okay. That takes you about halfway there. Wait, 14. Uh, this this has an extra medal here. Okay. Within five turns. Um, well, this one is just... Use three final trump card, I guess. That's a little different, but they all give you uh, 28 in total. And then, obviously, you need... Um, in particular, here, you need 72 medals, right? I mean, uh, 35 for each. Where is it? Yeah. So 35, 21, 14. You need 14 of these guys, huh? Okay, so it doesn't give you all the medals you need, but you're able to get a good amount of medals. I mean, right now, you could just farm the characters in-game because of Dokkan events. Oh, well, no, the Dokkan events are down, huh? So you have to wait. But you are able to get a good amount of the medals. You still have to farm the Dokkan event a lot, but it's better than nothing, honestly. I wish they gave you all the medals, though. That would have been cool, but I guess not. Um... Sure, that's it for this data dial, though. Not a lot. Banners, again, come out now in two hours, 50 minutes. We're all excited. I'll catch y'all for live summons. I will be live and see you later. Peace out.